As a general consumer, when you opt to get internet in your home, you may see the terms fiber, ADSL, bandwidth, and other random doodads flying around. Today we will focus on DSL, ADSL, and SDSL in particular. Before watching this vid, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell icon. If it looks like it's ringing, that means you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, before we start the video, quick question. Which internet service provider are you signed to right now? Comment down below your answer. So what is ADSL? Well, ADSL is an abbreviation for Digital Subscriber Line, one of the most common internet service plans in use by most homes with internet. There are three types, ADSL, SDSL, and the VDSL, and each one has its own purpose. Before we dive into this, let me explain how it works. DSL works by using existing phone lines and using another frequency lets you get in there without disturbing someone's phone calls like how it was in the 90s when dial-up was all the rage. There's also naked DSL, which is the same thing, but it isn't tied to a landline phone service. This way you're saving money, however, if an internet breakdown uh, on your ISP site happens, you can't make or receive calls. This is because phone lines like these use a uh, VOIP, short for voice, voice over internet protocol, which routes the calls uh, through internet. But usually this really happens, so don't worry much about it. Now back to the DSL types. So we first have ADSL. ADSL, short for Asymmetrical Digital Subscriber Line, is a variation of DSL meant for consumers since most of the time homes uh, download more data than re they return back. So more of the cable is configured for download than upload. For all you non techy guys, then it means uh, use this uh, if you download a lot of stuff. You have 10 times more download speed and upload speed, however for people who upload more like YouTubers and streamers this is a bad option. There are extensions of ADSL since the speed is quite limited, topping out to 12 megabits per second. Megabits, not megabytes. Uh, ADSL 2 Plus is the fastest one we have right now, topping at 24 megabits per second downstream. SDSL, short for uh, Symmetrical Digital Subscriber Line, is another variation of DSL meant for businesses who output more traffic than the input. Unlike ADSL, the speed here is 50-50, so the download speed is the same as your upload speed, making this beneficial if you upload l large amounts of files, photos, and videos. And now, DSL, or short for a very high bitrate DSL, is more like a speed extension to the ADSL and SDSL. Our DSL breaks those limits hard, download speed topping at 52 megabits per second, while upload speed at 18 megabits per second. A lot? improvement I may say. Now let's go over the technical stuff. DSL is very dependent on geographical location. Since it travels through copper wires, the higher the distance the home is, the weaker the signal becomes due to copper's very small electrical resistance. It's very small and we don't notice it, but at high distances, it really slows down connection. And because of this, prices and speed vary from region to region, so don't expect to be paying $10 a month for uh, 12 megabits per second internet on top of Mount Everest. If you like this explanation, uh, please hit that subscribe button, support me on Patreon if you can, and share this video with your friends and family who don't know much about this stuff. If you want to learn more about frequency band, go to this video from Nerdy Know It, who uses a pipe as an example to show a difference in ADSL and SDSL. Really interesting, I say.